Step 1. Open the Nintendo Switch System Settings menu and set the Sleep Mode to Never. Then set the Pro Controller Wired Communication to On. Step 2. Make sure your Nintendo Switch dock is connected to power and to your monitor, then place the Nintendo Switch into the dock. Note, you must keep the Joy-Cons connected to the Nintendo Switch or it will not function with the Commander 2. Step 3. Connect your keyboard and mouse to the Commander 2. If you are using a wireless keyboard and mouse, connect the wireless dongle to the keyboard port on the Commander 2. Note, it is not necessary to connect a controller to Commander 2 when using it with the Nintendo Switch. However, if you wish to use a controller with the Nintendo Switch and the Commander 2, you can connect it at this time. Step 4. Connect the Commander 2 to a USB port on the Nintendo Switch dock. Step 5. Turn on the Nintendo Switch and see that the Keymeter 2 has turned on. The LED will be glowing blue, indicating the default PS4 profile is loaded. Step 6. Download and install the K2 app from the App Store or the Google Play Store. Type Keymeter 2 into the search bar and it should find the K2 app for you to download. After the download finishes, open the app and accept the location permission request or the device's Bluetooth low energy function will not allow pairing to the Commander 2. After accepting permissions, swipe left through the tutorial screens and click Start Playing. The Connect Device screen will be displayed and the K2 app will look for your Commander 2 for connection. Step 7. Press the Bluetooth pairing button to put Commander 2 into pairing mode then select GE1337P2 when it appears under Devices. If this is not your first time opening the K2 app, you will need to press the Connect button on the Device tab of the K2 app and then select GE1337P2 when it appears under Devices. After the Commander 2 connects to the K2 app, the hardware installation tutorial will be displayed. Click Start and swipe through the tutorial screens and click Complete at the end. After clicking Complete, the K2 app will display the firmware update screen. Press Start to check the firmware version on the Keymander 2. If a newer version is available, the K2 app will display an Update button. Click the Update button to continue. After clicking the Update button, the K2 app will give you the option to update now over the air through your mobile device or to update with a PC. Select Update Now and depending upon your wireless data connection, it will take 5-10 to 10 minutes to complete. After the firmware update is completed, press Continue. The Commander 2 will begin syncing to the mobile device again and will load the default PS4 profile into the background. After the profile is loaded, a quick tutorial will pop up. Click OK to advance through the tutorial screens. Step 8. Click the Library tab on the K2 app, then click the Account icon in the upper left-hand corner to open the Account Settings screen. The Sign Up screen will be displayed. Click Sign Up to start creating your free account. Enter your email address on the email line, then choose the password and username for your account. Next, enter your date of birth, then agree to the terms of service and you will receive a verification email to authorize your account. Press Start Playing to exit to your profile library. Step 9. Open the Game Center tab on the K2 app and use the search function to find the game you want to play. Find the Nintendo Switch version, then tap the game's cover art. You will see the in-game settings required to use this profile and a download button. Press the download button. If there is no profile available for your game, open the library tab on the K2 app and select the default Nintendo Switch profile. Press Edit to change your mouse sensitivity, dead zone settings, aim down sight settings, key bindings, etc. The default mouse DPI setting in the K2 app is 4000 and you need to set your mouse to match. While our recommended settings of 3500 to 4000 DPI work fine for most games, we do encourage you to test other DPI settings. You may find that higher DPI settings like 8000 or more may work better for you with some games depending upon things like aim assist, etc. Once you have the profile loaded, open the settings menu inside the game and make the changes shown on the profile in the game center. Note, when using the default Nintendo Switch profile, you will need to change the game's aim and look settings to maximum sensitivity, then adjust the mouse sensitivity and key bindings as desired. Now, you're ready to play.